In this lesson 12, we are going to discuss question number 53 to question number 65 of Mathematics University Entrance Examination of the year 2011 Ethiopian calendar. Question number 53. The diagram below is a representation of a 25 meter vertical observation tower, TB, and two cars, K and L, on a road. The angle of depression from T to L is 30 degree. The angle of elevation from K to the top of the tower is 60 degree. B, K, and L lie in a straight line and lie on the same horizontal plane as the base of a tower. What is the distance between the two cars? Here we are asked the distance from K to L. To solve that, let's find the distance from B to L and B to K. Let's draw the horizontal line from T to point A and a vertical line from L to point A. So, TBL forms a rectangle and hence TA is equal to BL and TB is equal to AL. Tan 30 is equal to AL over TA, which is equal to AL is equal to TB divided by TA means BL. This implies BL is equal to TB over tan 30, which is equal to TB is given as 25 divided by tan 30 is 1 over root 3. Multiply both the numerator and the denominator by root 3 to make the denominator 1. That's 25 times root 3, which is equal to 25 root 3. Tan 16 is equal to BT over BK. This implies BK is equal to BT over tan 60, which is equal to BT is given as 25 divided by tan 60 is root 3, which is equal to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by root 3 in order to rationalize the denominator. That's 25 times root 3 is 25 root 3. Root 3 times root 3 is 3. KL is equal to BL minus BK. This implies BL is 25 root 3 minus bk is 25 root 3 over 3. To find the difference between these expressions, just multiply 25 root 3 by 3. That gives us 75 root 3 minus 25 root 3, the whole over 3. 75 minus 25 is 50 root 3 divided by 3. Therefore, choice B is the correct answer. Question number 54. Ship A and B depart from the same point at the same time on the course north 60 degree east and north 40 degrees respectively. If the speed of ship A is 20 km per hour and the speed of ship B is 30 km per hour, what is the distance between the two ships after 30 minutes of departure? Let's draw a rough sketch of their position after 30 minutes of their departure. Let's consider this is the XY plane. Starting from the origin, B is roughly around here, that's north 40 degree east, and ship A is around here north 60 degree east. Now we are asked the distance from B to A. Distance traveled by ship B, that's OB is equal to the speed of ship B, that's 30 km per hour, times the time needed to cover this distance, that's 30 minutes or 0 0.5 hour, which is equal to 50 minutes. Distance traveled by ship A, that's OA, is equal to speed of ship A, that's 20 km per hour, times time needed to cover this distance, that's 0 0.5 hour, which is equal to 10 km. Angle BOA is 20 degree, that's 60 degree minus 40 degree. So we have a triangle with one unknown side, but the angle opposite to the unknown side and the two other sides are known. Thus, the length of the unknown side is calculated by using the formula BA square is equal to OB square plus OA square minus 2 times OB times OA times cos 20, which is equal to OB is 15 square plus OA square is 10 square minus 2 times OB is 15 times OA is 10 times cos 20 is given as 0 0.94. 15 square is 225 plus 10 square is 100 minus the product of these expressions is 282 which is equal to 225 plus 100 is 325 minus 282 that gives us 43 kilometer. Take the square root of both sides, that's the square root of BA square is BA is equal to square root of 43 is square root of 43 kilometer. Therefore, choice D is the correct answer. Question number 55. If the angle between vector A, that's 2 comma negative 1 comma 1 and vector B, 1 comma 1 comma alpha is pi over 3, then what is the value of alpha? The root product of two vector A dot B given us magnitude of A times magnitude of B times cos pi over 3. This implies vector A, that's 2, negative 1 times 1 times vector B, 
1,1, alpha, which is equal to magnitude of A, that's 2 square plus negative 1 square plus 1 square times magnitude of B, that's the square root of 1 square plus 1 square plus alpha square times cos pi over 3 is 1 over 2, which is equal to the dot product of the two vectors is given as the sum of the product of component vectors, that's 2 times 1 is 2 plus negative 1 times 1 is negative 1 plus 1 times alpha is alpha which is equal to square root of 2 square is 4 plus negative 1 square is 1 plus 1 square is 1 times the square root of 1 square is 1 plus 1 square is 1 plus alpha square times 1 over 2 which implies 2 plus negative 1 is 1 plus alpha which is equal to 4 plus 1 plus 1 is 6 that's square root of 6 times 1 plus 1 is 2, so it gives us 2 plus alpha square times 1 over 2. This implies multiply both sides by 2, that's 2 times 1 is 2, plus 2 times alpha is 2 alpha, which is equal to square root of 6 times 2 plus alpha square. This implies take the square of both sides, that's 2 plus 2 alpha as a whole square is equal to 6 times 2 plus alpha. This implies 2 plus 2 alpha as a whole square is 4 plus 8 alpha plus 4 alpha square, which is equal to 6 times 2 is 12 plus 6 times alpha square is 6 alpha square. Let's collect like terms by bringing values at the left hand side to the right of the equation. That's 6 alpha square minus 4 alpha square minus 8 alpha plus 12 minus 4 is equal to 0. 6 alpha square minus 4 alpha square is 2 alpha square minus 8 alpha plus 12 minus 4 is 8, which is equal to 0. Divide both sides by 2. 2 alpha square divided by 2 is alpha square, minus 8 alpha divided by 2 is 4 alpha, plus 8 divided by 2 is 4, is equal to 0. This expression means alpha minus 2 the whole square is equal to 0. This alpha is equal to 2. Hence, choice B is the correct answer. Question number 56. If vector u is equal to 2j minus k, and vector b is equal to i minus h j plus 3k, then what is the unit vector in the direction of 5w plus v? Let's determine the vector 5u plus v, which is equal to 5 times vector u is 2j minus k, plus vector v is i minus h j plus 3k, which is equal to 5 times 2j is 10j, minus 5 times k is 5k, plus i minus h j plus 3k, which is equal to i plus 10 minus 8j is 2j, negative 5k plus 3k is minus 2k. Let's represent this vector by w. Unit vector in the direction of w is equal to the vector w divided by the magnitude of w, which is equal to i plus 2j minus 2k divided by magnitude of w is the square root of the coefficient of i, that's 1 square, plus the coefficient of j square, that's 2 square, plus the coefficient of k square, that's negative 2 square, which is equal to i plus 2j minus k divided by 1 square is 1 plus 2 square is 4 plus negative 2 square is 4 which is equal to i plus 2j minus 2k divided by 4 plus 4 is 8, 8 plus 1 is 9, the square root of 9 is 3 which is equal to, let's split this expression, that's 1 over 3i plus 2 over 3j minus 2 over 3k, the correct answer is choice A. Question number 57, what is the value of cot 270 degree plus 2 cos 90 degree plus 4 sec square of 180 degree. All the angles under inquiry are quadrantal angles. That means their terminal side lies either at x axis or y axis. Thus, it's appropriate to use unit circle to determine their side. Let's this is the xy plane. This is a unit circle centered at the origin and its radius is 1. So, its order pair at the four terminal sides are A, that's 1,0, B, 0,1, C, negative 1, comma, 0, and D, 0, comma, negative 1. In each order pair, the X value stands for cosine and Y value stands for sine. Let's rewrite cot 270 degree plus 2 cos 90 degree plus 4 sec square of 180 degree in terms of cosine and sine as cot 270 means cos 270 divided by sine 270 plus 2 times cosine 90 degree means the value of x at b, that's 0, plus 
four times sec square of 180 degree means 1 over cos square of 180 degree which is equal to cos 270 is at point D the value of x at point D is 0 divided by the value of sine at point D or the value of y at point D is negative 1 plus 2 times 0 is 0 plus 4 times 1 over cos square of 180 degree that's 180 degree at point C the value of x at point C is negative 1 negative 1 squared is 1 1 divided by 1 is 1 1 times 4 is 4 so 0 plus 0 plus 4 is equal to 4 so choice D is the correct answer question number 58 what is the image of the circle x squared plus y squared minus 4x minus 6y plus 11 is equal to 0 when the origin is shifted to 0.1 comma 1 after translation of the axis let's use completing the square meters to determine the center of a circle x squared plus y squared minus 4x minus 6y plus 11 is equal to 0 this implies x minus 4 over 2 is 2 that's 2 squared minus the square of 2 is 4 plus y minus 6 over 2 is 3 the whole square minus the square of 3 that's 9 plus 11 is equal to 0 this implies x minus 2 the whole square plus y minus 3 the whole square minus 4 minus 9 is minus 13 minus 13 plus 11 is minus 2 which is equal to 0 this implies x minus 2 the whole square plus y minus 2 the whole square is equal to taking negative 2 to the right of equality gives us positive 2 positive 2 means a square root of positive 2 square so the center of the circle is 2 comma 3 if we translate 2 comma 3 by 1 comma 1 we will find 2 plus 1 that's 3 comma 3 plus 1 that's 4 so the equation of the new circle becomes x minus 3 the whole square plus y minus 4 the whole square is equal to a root 2 square this implies x square minus 6x plus 9 plus y minus 4 the whole square means y square minus 8y plus 16 is equal to square root of 2 square is 2 if we bring 2 to the left of equality it becomes negative 2 which is equal to 0 this implies x square plus y square minus 6x minus 8y 9 plus 16 is 25 25 minus 2 is 23 is equal to 0 therefore choice b is the correct answer question number 59 let l be a line given by the vector equation x comma y is equal to 1 comma 1 plus t times root 3 comma 1 t elements of n is real number what is the equation of the image of l after being rotated 50 degree about 1 comma 1 and then translated by u is equal to negative 1 comma 1 x comma y is equal to 1 comma 1 plus t times root 3 comma 1 which implies x comma y is equal to 1 comma 1 means i plus j plus t times root 3 comma 1 means root 3 t i plus t j this implies 1 plus root 3 t i plus 1 plus t j thus x is equal to 1 plus root 3 this implies t is equal to x minus 1 over root 3 and y is equal to 1 plus t this implies y minus 1 is equal to t so t is equal to t that means y minus 1 is equal to x minus 1 over root 3 this implies y is equal to let's split this fraction that's 1 over root 3x minus 1 over root 3 negative 1 at the left can be taken to the right and it becomes positive 1 so this is a equation of a line l with a slope 1 over root 3 the order pair 1 comma 1 is on y is equal to 1 over root 3x minus 1 over root 3 plus 1 if we rotate 1 comma 1 50 degree about 1 comma 1 we will find x prime y prime x prime means x naught plus x minus x naught times cos 50 degree minus y minus y naught times sine 50 degree which is equal to x naught is 1 plus x minus x naught that's 1 minus 1 times cos 15 minus y is 1 minus y naught is 1 again times sine 50 which is equal to y minus 1 is 0 0 times cos 15 is 0 again 1 minus 1 is 0 0 times sine 15 is 0 so we left with 1 y prime is equal to y naught plus x minus x naught times sine 15 plus y minus y naught times cos 15 
we already determined as x minus x naught and y minus y naught that's zero. So we let this one. The new order pair x prime comma y prime is equal to one comma one. Translating this order pair by negative one comma one, it gives us one plus negative one is zero comma one plus one is two. These two order pairs are enough to write the equation of the line. That's y minus two is equal to the slope of the line. That's two minus one divided by zero minus one times x minus zero. This implies y minus two is equal to two minus one is one divided by zero minus one is negative one. One divided by negative one is negative one. Negative one times x is minus x. This implies y plus x is equal to two. So the answer is not given. Question number 60, for all n element of natural number, 3 to the power of n minus 2 is prime that can be proved or disproved by one of the following mathematical proofs. If n is equal to 1, 3 to the power of n minus 2 is equal to 3 to the power of 1 minus 2, which is equal to 3 to the power of 1 is 3 minus 2, that gives us 1, but 1 is not prime number. Thus, the proportion is disproved by counterexample. So the correct answer is choice B. Question number 61. When a plane is rotated 45 degrees about point 0.1, comma, negative 2, then what would be the image of point 0.2, comma, 4? Let's say the new order pair is x prime, comma, y prime. So x prime is equal to x naught plus x minus x naught cos theta minus y minus y naught sine theta, which is equal to x naught is 1 plus x is 2 minus 1 times cos 45 degree minus y is 4 minus y naught is negative 2 times sine 45 degree, which is equal to 1 plus 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 times cos 45 is root 2 over 2 minus 4 minus negative 2 means 4 plus 2, that's 6, times sine 45 is root 2 over 2, which is equal to 1. Root 2 over 2 minus 6 root 2 over 2 is 5 root 2 over 2. Y prime is given by the formula y naught plus x minus x naught times sine theta plus y minus y, minus y naught cos theta which is equal to y naught is negative 2 plus x is 2 minus x naught is 1 times sine theta plus y is 4 minus y naught is negative 2 times cos theta which is equal to negative 2 plus 2 minus 1 is 1 1 times sine 45 is root 2 over 2 plus 4 minus negative 2 is 6 6 times cos 45 is root 2 over 2, which is equal to negative 2 plus root 2 over 2 plus 6 root 2 over 2 is 7 root 2 over 2. So the order pair x prime comma y prime is equal to 1 minus 5 root 2 over 2 comma negative 2 plus 7 root 2 over 2. Therefore, choice C is the right alternative. Question number 62. Which one of the following is a valid assertion that can be proved by the principles of mathematical induction? A. N Q minus N is divisible by 6 for every integer N greater than or equal to 1. N Q minus N is equal to N times N square minus 1, which is equal to N times N square minus 1 is N minus 1 times N plus 1. For every integer N greater than or equal to 1, the expression N times N minus 1 times N plus 1 is divisible by 6. Thus, the assertion is valid. So, choice A is the answer. But for the discussion, Let's check other choices. Choice B, to the power of n greater than n plus 20 for every integer n greater than or equal to 4. If n is equal to 4, then to the power of 4 greater than 4 plus 20. This implies to the power of 4 is 16. Greater than 4 plus 20 is 24, which is false. Choice C, n squared less than or equal to to the power of n for every integer n greater than or equal to 1. If n is equal to 3, then 3 squared less than or equal to 2 to the power of 3. This implies 3 squared is 9. Less than or equal to 2 to the power of 3 is 8. This is also false. Choice D. 3n plus 25 less than 3 to the power of n for every integer n greater than or equal to 3. If n is equal to 4, then 3 times 4 plus 25 less than or equal to 3 to the power of 4. This implies 3 times 4 is 12 plus 25 less than or equal to 2 to the, 3 to the power of 4 is 81. This implies 12 plus 25 is 37. Less than or equal to 3 to the power of 4 is 81. This also false. Therefore, the correct answer is choice A. Question number 63. If the point alpha, 0, 3 is on a sphere centered at 
1 comma 2 comma 3 with radius 2 what is the value of alpha let's use the center and radius twice the equation of the sphere that's the equation of the sphere is x minus 1 the whole square plus y minus 2 the whole square plus z minus 3 the whole square is equal to 4 if alpha comma 0 comma 3 on, on the sphere then alpha minus 1 the whole square plus 0 minus 2 the whole square plus 3 minus 3 the whole square is equal to 4 this implies alpha minus 1 the whole square plus 0 minus 2 is negative 2 negative 2 square is 4 plus 3 minus 3 is 0 0 square is 0 bringing 4 to the left of the equality sign becomes negative 4 is equal to 0 this implies alpha minus 1 the whole square plus 4 plus 0 means 4 4 minus 4 is 0 then we left with alpha minus 1 the whole square is equal to 0 this implies alpha is equal to 1 so choice D is the correct answer question number 64 what is the solution set of sine square of x minus sine x cos x is equal to 0 over the interval 0 comma 2 pi sine square s minus sine x cos x is equal to 0 this implies taking sine x as a common factor sine x times sine square x divided by sine x is sine x minus sine x cos x divided by sine x is cos x which is equal to 0 this implies sine x is equal to 0 or sine x is equal to cos x sine x is equal to 0 when x is equal to 0 pi or 2 pi sine x is equal to cos x when x is equal to pi over 4 or 5 pi over 4 hence the solution sets is 0 comma pi over 4 comma pi comma 5 pi over 4 comma 2 pi so choice A is the right alternative. Question number 65. Consider a rectangle ABCD with base vertices A is equal to 0, 0,3 and B is equal to 4, 0 and the other vertices C and D in the first quadrant of a coordinate plane. If the height BC is half of the length of its space, then which one of the following indicates the coordinate of vector C? Let's depict the rectangle in quadrant 1. Let's this is the XY plane. Point A with order pair 0, 3 is on the y-axis. That's 3 units above the origin. Point B with order pair 4, 0 is on the x-axis. That's 4 units to the right of the origin. This line AB is the base of a rectangle. Let point C with order pair x, y is around here and point D is here. If we draw a diagonal from A to C, it forms a right angle triangle ABC. So the hypotenuse AC square is equal to one leg that is BC square plus the other leg AB square. This implies AC means X minus 0 is a whole square plus Y minus 3 is a whole square is equal to BC means X minus 4 is a whole square plus Y minus 0 that's Y square plus it's given that BC is half of AB. In other words, AB is twice of BC. So AB square becomes two times X minus 0 is a whole square plus y square that's 2 times bc this expression gives us x minus 0 means x that's x square plus y minus 3 is a whole square means y square minus 6y plus 9 which is equal to the two expressions are similar so we can add their coefficient that's 1 plus 2 that is 3 times x minus 4 the whole square means x square minus 8x plus 16 plus y square this implies x square plus y square minus 6y plus 9 is equal to 3 times x square is 3x square plus 3 times y square is 3y square minus 3 times 8x is 24x plus 3 times 16 is 48. Let's bring the left hand side expression to the right to collect like terms and then to solve the problem. That's 3x square minus x square is 2x square plus 3y square minus y square is 2y square minus 24x plus 6y plus 48 minus 9 is equal to 0 multiplying both sides by 1 over 2 we will find 1 over 2 times 2x squared is x squared plus 1 over 2 times 2y squared is y squared minus 1 over 2 times 24x is 12x plus 1 over 2 times 6y is 3y plus 48 minus 9 is 37 37 times 1 over 2 is 37 over 2 which is equal to 0 times 1 over 2 is 0 this is the equation of a circle. So let's use completing the square meter to find the center of the circle. That's x minus 12 divided by 2 is 6, the whole square, minus 
6 square that's 36 plus y 3 divided by 2 is 3 over 2 that's y plus 3 over 2 the whole square minus the square of 3 over 2 that's 9 over 4 plus 37 over 2 is equal to 0 this implies x minus 6 the whole square plus y minus negative 3 over 2 the whole square minus 36 minus 9 over 4 plus 37 over 2 means negative 79 over 4 taking negative 79 over 4 to the right of equality we will find 79 over 4 so this is equation of circle with center 6 comma negative 3 over 2 6 comma negative 3 over 2 is an order pair in the fourth quadrant but the question specifies that c is in the first quadrant thus a point in the first quadrant that is at equidistance with 6 comma negative 3 over 2 from point b is 6 comma 3 over 2 therefore the correct answer is choice b that's all for this lesson goodbye